All right. Today's job, just right down the road. So that's pretty convenient. Got everything packed. Got the saws back there. Um, we're going to be doing some solo rigging today. I'm sure I'll walk you through it once we get there. But uh, yeah, I was supposed to, I was rent, I'm renting a dump trailer, but I get there this morning to, to rent it. And um, the guy's like, oh, I have five trailers that I rent out and they're supposed to be back last night or this morning. And I haven't gotten it yet. So I'll give you a call when I get one in. And I was like, all right, I'll go pick it up on my lunch then, I guess. But uh, there shouldn't be a whole lot of brush. There should only be one load for the dump trailer, but yeah don't make fun of my clean shirt it's new but yeah some solo rigging i got i think it's a sycamore and a maple with some branches going over the house that are a little too close and then a little bit of dead wood of course but so pretty straightforward and uh see you guys on the job site all right so here we go today's job it's actually a pretty pretty big sized tulip tree i don't know why i mistaken it for a, a, a maple tree when I bitted this job, but it's actually a tulip. So I'm, but I'm gonna go up there, get some dead branches out of there, and then, you know, take some some of these lower guys here, and then see if the sun will. Yeah, and some of these lower guys over the house. And then I'm gonna go up in the sycamore, kind of same concept. Take some of these lower guys, and then some of those lower guys, and then any major deadwood that's up in there, and so. Yeah, it should be pretty straightforward. The idea is to climb out there, get my line set, climb out there, set a line back to its trunk and do some zip lining and zip, zip line the branches straight back to the trunk. So we'll see how it goes. And then I picked myself up one of these speed line kits from Notch. They're, uh, they're nice, I love them, I used them before. A little bit pricey, but wet tree equipment isn't pricey. Uh, always good to, to have on hand. And then, yeah, here's my, my rigging line I got. It's only 100 feet. I need to get some more. So this one's pretty short. I'm just keeping this little bucket right here. Works perfect. And then got my brain bucket today. Need that. Then I got a couple of these small little carabiners I use for various things. You know, they're always good to have. Oh, and then I picked up one of these pocket wedges and then a little lanyard to go with it. Also, I could use a lanyard for my handsaw. So, yeah. You'll see me here setting my block where I'm going to be zip lining my branches back to. I don't really show how I tie it off, so I just put the the line through the block, and then I ended up just tying it off also so that it wouldn't, you know, slack out in, in a span rig while I didn't have control of it. And then once I got all the branches back down there, I had to go down to the roof and do some little bit of clearance cut because some of the branches got cut up on the on the lines there but and then i just go back up to my block and untied it and then just lowered it through the block down to the ground so it worked out it worked out okay you know it could have gone better but still still learning still still trying some things out so just bear with me and enjoy and yeah i've, I've watched a bunch of videos of all the other ways you can do it so i'm sure i'll be trying other ways here soon Also, I'm using a, a steel carabiner. Whenever I'm doing rigging, I don't know why, just to feel safer for myself, I guess, I like to use steel carabiners. If I'm not using a knot, I uh, will just end up using a steel carabiner just to feel a little safer.
Yeah, rookie move leaving that stub there to get caught on. <laughs> and I know I'll get a lot of shit for this, but, you know, I'm a handsaw guy. I like running a handsaw. I like using my handsaw. Of course, I like using my chainsaw. But if I don't have to lug the chainsaw up a tree and I'm just going to make, like, five cuts and it's going to take a few extra seconds to use a handsaw, I'm going to do it. It's safer. I have more control. And, you know, you know, talk shit all you want. <laughs> I'll accept it. Um, right here, I'm just using my my flip my foldable corona usually i have a silky but you know i like using this thing too so yeah
good. All right, so now I'm just trying to untangle my ropes from this mess. Got that all lifted. Got that all lifted. You know, I asked about that dead branch and she said, he said not to worry about it. So, all right. Um, yeah, now for the fun part, this old jungle right here, untangle my ropes and then hopefully I can go get that trailer and just park it right on this side of the fence and toss everything over. So I kind of got screwed out of my dump trailer. I reserved to rent. You know, I decided to try to go with this new guy because he was cheaper, but yeah, just not as reliable. So I learned my lesson. Sometimes you can't go cheaper. And uh, yeah, I was able to go back to the place I usually rent a dump trailer and go back a few days later and haul all this brush away. But you know, maybe it's a sign it's finally time to get my own dump trailer. All right, guys, well, that's a wrap for today. Got this all cleaned up, that tree all done. I got everything piled right there. I'm sure I explained over to you guys in the voiceover. Kind of got screwed out of a trailer today. Maybe that's a sign to finally get my own, but I'll still have to come back next week for this uh, sycamore. Um, yeah, thanks for, thanks for watching, guys. I know those uh, prunes aren't as fun to watch, of course. And then, you know, I'm not sure how it looks because I have the GoPro chest mount and not the head mount so you probably didn't see as much action um but yeah and also just me tinkering around trying to figure out some solo rigging techniques didn't work out exactly as i wanted to plan but but it worked it worked but yeah and then i didn't record but when i was i was up here and i took out a branch that was over here instead of just having a zip line straight back to the trunk i kind of did like a span rigging and i held on to the to the other end and had a stub that I cut off and kind of used as like a quarter wrap. And then, um, and so as I cut it, I kind of let it zigzag down as I kind of held on and like, like let it fall to the ground. But yeah, this one, this one didn't really work out as nice because I had the, the power line right here. And so I had some stuff kind of get caught up on that. 
So yeah, I gotta be a little careful with that kind of stuff. But yeah, this is how you live and this is how you learn. So thanks for following along. And if you guys enjoyed everything, all the info and stuff will be in the bio. Uh, like and subscribe and see you next time. Peace.